It was a party hundreds of years in the making. The small town of Henniker came together on an August day to celebrate their 250th birthday. One of the featured members of this parade, an Englishwoman, who can claim she is another Henniker on Earth. My relationship with the town is that I'm the sister of the ninth Lord Henniker and the first Lord Henniker. The town was named after the first Lord Henniker. Meet Janie Henniker Major. This town was named for her family. So she was invited here to help celebrate. My first impressions of amazing warmth of welcome. Undeserved, but I'm very lucky. I'd like to uh, present you with the banner as Grand Marshal. Janie was treated like royalty, even made Grand Marshal of the town parade. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely. This was not a first for the Hennekers in Henniker. Janie's dad, the 8th Lord of Henniker, visited here for the 225th anniversary in 1993. That's when she first learned of the little town in New Hampshire. He showed me the only Henniker on earth, so that made me realize that it was quite, something quite special. There is a rich history in this little town, but exactly how did a British surname end up getting imported to New Hampshire? Local resident Terry Trier and her daughter Maggie were invited to a special place in England to find out. This is Thornham Estate. Today, it's home to public hiking trails, a bed and breakfast and gardens, and is still home to the ninth Lord of Henniker. Sir Mark Henniker lives here, and he had a message for Granite Staters. Hello to all of you in Henniker, New Hampshire. A very, very happy 250th anniversary, and may you have many more happy anniversaries to come. The Henniker name became connected to Thornham in the 1700s when John Henniker moved in with his new wife. In fact, it was John Henniker who started shipping pine trees from New England to boost the Royal Navy. He applied for the first Navy contract to take white pine masts from New England and bring them back to Britain. Historian Jeffrey Robinson also traveled to Henniker for the celebration. He says the first Lord Henniker had great success in the New England to England timber pipeline. Those pine masts were uh, central to the development of the Royal Navy as the force that it was. Through his work, Henniker became friendly with New Hampshire colonial governor John Wedworth. As a gesture of friendship, in 1768, he named this small community Henniker, and the rest, as they say, was history. As far as I know, and I think as far as you know, this is the only Henniker out there? It certainly is, yes. Of course, the only Henniker on Earth has grown in 250 years. Now famous for Pat's Peak, New England College, the famous covered bridge, and a warm community spirit. It's a fascinating place. When somebody told us that there were something, something like three and a half thousand residents, I thought to myself, where do they all live? And for the woman who bears the Henniker name, being here is kind of overwhelming. Everywhere I go, it's like, you know, the, the, you look at a lager and it's a, got Henniker on it or something, and you think, hang, hang on a minute, you know, and the truck going by had a Henniker, and it's like the Henniker fire station. So you're sort of starting to get, I'm getting a bit big-headed. I think it's lucky I'm not staying longer than four days. <laughs> yeah. But while she was here, Janie did soak up the celebration. For her, this birthday party is almost like family. Yes, for the next 250 years. Woo! What started as a little place known as Township Number Six has grown into a community that would make Lord John Henniker proud. I think he would be absolutely delighted that um, the name carries on, the only Henniker in the world. I think he would just be absolutely delighted. <laughs>